Right tool for the right job is such a, a good way to look at it because we are internet service providers solving the problem of people who don't have internet connection or don't have good internet connection. So we're not just wireless internet service providers, we're not just fiber operators, we're not just cable operators. We are solving that problem and we're using all tools available to us to do that. And I think as our industry has grown, we've been able to see that you, you pick the right tool where it works best and where you have the best options. And the nice thing is, is wireless does cover a lot of options and it's a really, really good option in a lot of areas. Yeah, fiber in your diet. I think that's something that's really interesting because, again, it kind of comes back to the right tool for the right job. There are really, really interesting ways you can run fiber and intermix. Uh, and I, I've seen so many companies that put blinders on and they're like, no, I'm only this. And they miss all this opportunity or they spend way more money than they needed to or took, take way more time. So I'm excited to see our industry growing into that, hey, we're, we're going to solve problems. We're, we're a problem-solving industry. And yes, fiber happens to be part of that. It just isn't fiber to everybody because that doesn't make sense. And honestly, the customer doesn't care. They don't call us up and say, oh, well, how do you get me my service? Are you satellite? Are you mobile? Are you fixed? Are you fiber? They don't care. They're just like, can I do Netflix? Can I do YouTube? Can my kids go to school? And will it work? And when we say yes, they say, awesome, sign me up. Customer doesn't care about the technology. They just want it to be reliable and fast. And that's, that's what we're able to do and then keep that evolution growing. Still, we were the second largest CAF winner, and I would still kind of stand up here and say, hey, I would prefer not to have subsidies. Um, but if they're going to be there, how do we leverage them the most to get the most people service? And, and that's where having fixed wireless mixed with fiber, mixed with what we need to do is, is the most good with that money. Uh, and I think there's a tremendous opportunity now. The, it used to be that if you were a big guy, you got the money. Oh, here's your money, here's your money, please go build out. Now the innovators are getting the money. And we're innovating, we want to provide service to people. So this capital is allowing us to really, really expand. And with the tide, all boats rise, right? It's amazing what it's doing for our industry. It's just so, so awesome to see that we were all struggling before, and now we're struggling, but in a different way, in a good way of how fast can we go and how can we keep up with all these people because we're able to do what we want to do, which is build out to people and solve that digital divide problem. And government is actually a good partner for that. You know, they, they helped get power to everybody, they helped get phone to everybody, and now they're helping get broadband to everybody. And I'm glad they looked our direction and said, we will allow you to participate. And then we did in a big way, and now things are really, really moving. So I think in, as regulators think about how they can best affect our industry and best get broadband is leave it to the technology people to figure out the technology but just tell us kind of what you need and, and we'll help you understand what the customer needs because not everybody needs a gig I, I know it's sexy and i know it's like oh this is the thing everybody needs a gig not everybody needs a gig let's get people who have zero g's something before we worry about getting everybody who has four and 5G to the next level. So I think it's, it's a neat trend, but we have to pound the pavement even more about how it is not technology, it's what's the end game that you want, and then let us go figure out how to do that.